Hey guys, what's going on? So today I'm going to be showing you how to farm Cracklorn for materials. So this is probably the best route that I've found personally and I'm just going to share it with you guys now. So the reason you want to farm in Cracklorn as opposed to anywhere else is just because you can get yourself some potent and the fortified Nern Crux. So these are used for making Nern Crux weapons and currently Nern Horn is the best trait on things like daggers. So it's quite in demand. So on Xbox EU at least, the potent Nern Crux can sell for about 20 to 22k and the Fortify can sell about 4 to 5k. So this is a good way to make money if you're going to be farming for money anyway because on this route you're going to get bits of everything. So you're going to get blacksmithing, jewelry crafting, alchemy and enchanting notes as well. Uh, so it's not just the one specific thing. Like I do have a video if you're interested in that. Uh, just jewelry and blacksmithing notes. There's a good location for it. I'll link. But if you guys want to farm a bit of everything while getting the Nern Crux is the best place in Crackdown I think. So this video is a little bit long, the route is a little bit long, but this just means that it's always going to be reset every time you loop around it and you're never running without any nodes, you're always really close to a couple of nodes and it's quite a good little route. So to start this route off, we're going to start up at the Valley of Scars where I shrine and we're just going to follow this little path here just above it. Um, we're just going to keep traveling to the left, sort of over towards Sanctum of Video. And we're just going to come around here and then we're just going to go down again and there's sort of a little loop around this mountain you can see. So there's a little mountain to the right of this wall boss, you can sort of see we're just going to loop around there. Uh, there is a little alleyway here where this little craftable set is. And we're just going to come through here and loop back around towards the way shrine. So that's pretty much the whole rotation. I'm going to show you exactly how to do this rotation now. I'm not going to talk over it because it's about 5-10 minutes and I don't need to explain exactly what I've walked to show you and you can watch. So hopefully you liked the video, if you did remember to leave a like on it, remember to subscribe to the channel and I'll see you next time.